What's going on friends? Welcome back to a brand new Fortnite Battle Royale video. Hope you guys are all having yourselves a fantastic day as always. So today's video is going to be something a little bit different. I'm actually super excited to be switching it up here and, uh, and making this video. Basically today's video, instead of covering season five and leaks and all this new stuff, I wanted to switch it up and we're going to be taking a look at all of these skins that were available way, way back in season one. Basically right before I would say Fortnite like genuinely like blew up and went viral about Halfway through season two, especially going into season three is when I realized that Fortnite was taking over the world There was a lot of people playing it. It was blown up on YouTube uh, But there wasn't that many players or big youtubers or streamers back then that actually genuinely played in season one I actually found out about Fortnite and started playing it at the very 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 end of season one I remember like literally the first week I played it went from season one into season two, which had a massive change to the game. But in today's video, I actually did some digging here online and I went back and I found every single skin that was released or available back in season one. So you guys, it's actually going to be really cool for some of you guys that, that didn't start playing back then. It was cool for me too, because there was even some skins I didn't even know existed that, uh, that were released way back. And obviously some of them still rotate through the store. Uh, like the weekly store uh, so some of you guys might be familiar with some of these but I guarantee there is at least one that you guys have probably never seen in the store or have never seen anyone use in game because there's definitely some odd ones uh, in this list so throughout this video I will be showing you guys images of all of them we're gonna start at the lowest rarity and then work our way up to rares there was no purple or or yellow which is legendary skins back then so all of these skins are gray which are the default skins green and blue before we get into the video though if you guys would like to help brother out smash that like button and drop an early like on the video if we could shoot for a hundred likes that would really make my day along with that be sure to check out and follow my social medias to stay updated with me uh, on when videos are going live and I'm always interactive with you guys out there so if you guys want to go follow my Twitter my Instagram or add me on snapchat they're all down in the description and periodically throughout the video I do put sliders up that show uh, that, that show like the, the the ads and the names to my social medias so you guys can look out for those as well All right, so now that we got all the mumbo-jumbo out of the way Let's get right into the video and start showing you guys all the skins that were available in season one So as always I have images of these skins. I will throw them up on the screen We're gonna kind of talk about them and uh, and first things first I know this is gonna be stupid to you guys, but I'm gonna throw up just all the default skins right away because I thought it was interesting. Alright, so if you guys notice, there is four male characters and four female characters. Now, it's kind of hard to like visualize all of these when you're just playing the game without seeing them all at the screen at once like you are now. Mainly because every game you play with the default skin, it like randomizes and picks one. And so it's actually really cool to visualize and see all the different like outcomes of skins you can get on the screen at once. So as you guys can see, there is four male characters and four female characters. Now to some of you guys, this might be common sense, but to other guys, like to some of you guys, like for me personally, when I, when I realized this, I was like, oh, like that's pretty cool. So if you guys didn't know, basically these eight character models right here, the four guys and the four girls, they are the characters in every other skin in the game. Even if sometimes it doesn't look like it, these are the eight skins that they base every other skin off of. Some of them will have helmets, so you can't see their head, but it's the same body type. Uh, the skin colors change, the hair, like the hairstyles and everything like that. These are the base skins for every skin in the game, which I thought was really interesting. So putting them all up in the screen and visualizing them, I thought was a really cool idea for this video. Obviously, everyone knows what these look like. But I thought that we would start with these since we are working our way up to the more rare skins. Alright, so after the eight default skins, there's actually four common skins that you were available to purchase. So I will throw the first one up on the screen right now. And that is the Commando Outfit. So, right off the bat, you guys will notice after I show you a couple of these skins, a lot of them were very, very simple. If you take a look at some of the skins that we see now in Season 4, going into Season 5 in Fortnite, they are all super crazy. They have back blings, they have like capes and stuff that move within the skin when you jump they have like glow in the dark skins like these crazy crazy skins with crazy like pickaxes and gliders and stuff and a lot of the skins i'm going to be showing you guys in this video are actually super super simple like literally they look like just normal soldiers there's nothing flashy about them i think there's one skin that was back in season one that i'll be showing you guys in this video that was actually somewhat like kind of out there um, but like dude compared to the rest of these like a lot of them like you guys are taking a look right now 
The Commando skin is a very basic skin. It almost looks like a default skin. It's just the uh, the clothes and the color of the shirt and pants are a little bit darker. Now for the second green skin here, we have the Assault Trooper, which again, like I said, very, very standard, exact same look to the last character, exact same female model. Uh, the only difference is the clothes colors change, so there's really not much of a difference to that. And, uh, and as I go, I'll leave these skins up in the top left corner so you can kind of compare them. So for the third one here, again, we have another female character model. The only difference is this is the, uh, I think the little bit of a paler skin and, uh, and red hair skin model. And as you guys can see, the exact same shirt and pants. That's like a common theme here with the skins in Season 1, where they were so bland and they really didn't switch much up other than the colors. So as you guys can see... The color of her shirt's a little bit green, the pants are a little bit darker, but everything else about the skin stays the same. Now, for the last skin, this is the only skin that actually changed a lot, in my opinion. It might be because the character model is the dark skin one, and on top of that, both the, uh, the pants and the shirt for this one are the same color, so it makes it pop out a little bit more. I think this is when they were trying to experiment with a lot more different colors and stuff, um, but everything about the skin, other than the color of the clothes, is exactly the same as the other three green skins I just showed. So I will uh, take a second and put all four up on the screen next to each other just so you guys can see like how similar but different they really are. They're, they're, they're almost basically exact. Literally, it looks like whoever the designers were over Epic just put the skin in, in Photoshop and change the human saturation and just change the color of their shirt. That's basically it. All right, so there is four more skins we're going to be taking a look at, and these are the rare or the blue ones. Like I said earlier in the video, there is actually no legendary or epic skins, no purple or orange skins uh, that were released back in season one. So starting off at the very top, we have the Renegade Raider. Now, some of these you guys actually might know of because they are quote unquote some of the rare skins in the game just because they were only released back then and some of these skins like these these blue ones actually don't rotate through the weekly store in fortnite whereas some of those ones that you guys might have seen like the the green ones the four skins i showed those sometimes pop up in the store and a lot of the other skins in season one actually pop up in this in the store uh, some of these actually don't, so that's why some of these are actually said to be some of the rare skins up there with like the Skull Trooper and stuff like that. So, taking a look at the first one, you guys can see they finally changed what the character is wearing somewhat. It's still the exact same character model, it's still the female with the shirt and the pants. They added a lot more detail though, they actually gave her a hat with goggles, they gave her some change, they, they changed up the color of the shirt and the pants changed the pants up and actually changed the color of the knee guards as well so i think they were actually starting to experiment a little bit more with these skins and also i think that's why these skins are a little bit more rare just because they're not as bland looking so getting into the second one here we actually have the first male character model which is the aerial assault trooper so as you guys can see he's actually got a helmet he's got a bandana it is the dark skin character model and uh, he's also got some orange and then he's got like a camouflage shirt and pants so this one actually is really simple but i think is pretty cool i actually really like the simple skins in fortnite it's probably an unpopular opinion out there to most of you guys but a lot of the skins we see in these newer seasons they're just so out there and so flashy and stuff and there, there's really no new skins that we see that go back to the to the roots of, of season one skins like we're looking at right now all right so for the third one this is actually the like the one that was a little bit flashier than all the others and it might just be because of the hat or the colors but this one is the Desperado, and this is one of the ones that I've literally never seen anyone run in-game. If I ever did see someone run this in-game, I'd be super surprised because that means they were actually playing the game and buying skins way back in Season 1. So if you guys take a look here, it is the long-haired character model, and uh, and he's got like a red and black theme. He's supposed to be like a Mexican cowboy like killer kind of guy, like the Desperado. He's got a pistol on his chest. And, uh, and this one actually looks really cool. I love the color scheme. I think the red bandana really just makes this one pop. But it's also really simple, just like the rest of them were back in Season 1. Alright, now for the last skin that we're going to be taking a look here, this is said to be one of the rarest skins in the game, and that is the Recon Expert. I'm sure everyone that watches videos based off, like, rarities of skins and, like, the rarest skins in Fortnite, because there's been a lot of videos out there on YouTube about that. Everyone knows about this skin. It is a very, very, very wanted skin. I think for the fact that how rare it is, so little people have this skin. I've actually never ran into anyone in-game using this skin. And on top of that, like, it's so, so simple. I think it's the fact that the skin, the skin color theme 
is white. It's got a little star. She's got a little hat. And then, like, the jeans she's wearing almost look like denim jeans. And it is a very simple skin, but an also very, very, uh, what is it? Aesthetic skin, in my opinion. I think it looks really good. It's so clean that it looks really good. So... That is the last skin that we're going to be taking a look at, and that is going to wrap it up for today's video. If you guys did enjoy, be sure to smash that like button. Like I said earlier in the video, we're going for 100 likes on today's video, so help us reach that goal by smashing the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new for more daily Fortnite videos and streams. And that's all I got for you guys. Have a stellar rest of your day, and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Take it easy, my friends.